What's up, everybody? It's been a while. It's been a long while, actually. Uh, it's been like a month. I literally just finished watching the EDM taillight video, which was my first video. And just the short hair, that's how I know it's been a long time. I mean, it was it was kind of like right here, and then it just boom, right to the shoulders. I wanted to give you a quick update as to what's going on. Let you guys know I'm still alive and what's happening. So let's get to it. It'll be like a normal video kind of per se with tutorials or DIYs. Again, this is just an update because I do want to post more and I have been slacking due to the fact that I've been working on the YZ, which we are recording tomorrow. So look out for that video. Please, please, please. I've worked so hard on this car and it looks so good. I just got done detailing it, buffing it. Um, so tomorrow, uh, Trace Carson with Track Shark is going to be recording it and we'll be uploading it and I'm so stoked, so stoked. That way we can finally get into the GSX, do the manual swap and the Red Z, which brings me to the first mod that we got. Look, right there. I had these wheels when I bought it. These weren't the wheels that I had when I sold it. But these are the same tires that I bought back in high school, uh, 2015. So, yeah, they're, they're a bit cracked, they're a bit old, and I just, I don't know, I don't really like these wheels, and I found a great deal on some three pieces, so let me show you. These are the Savini SV2. Uh, these are three-piece design, and I got them for a steal. There is a little bit of damage on the lip, uh, some abnormalities, and. Some stuff that needs to be fixed, like the face on this one is a little bit scuffed up, like right there. But other than that, man, this was a steal. Um, we are going to be building these anyways, because these are the rears. They do have quite a eh, average lip. And then these are the fronts, a little bit smaller. But we will be building those. And I can go on that. But no shortcuts with the Red Z. Everything has to be top notch. That's why with the wheels, I'll run them right now uh, with the way that they are. <clears throat> and then once we get to building it more and more cosmetically, I'll build it, get bigger lips, uh, do a more aggressive offset with it. A little bit, I don't know. I, I do like a little bit of poke. Most people don't like poke, but I find it to be more aggressive. And of course, we're gonna make these super wide. Like we're gonna do some 12 inch rears, maybe 10 and a half front. It's gonna be obnoxious. But I do want to show a little bit of that. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for this to get recorded. I just finished my three inch exhaust. Welds, you know, they're good. I did manage to get a pretty good fitment on this. Um, it's not touching the bumper. It's angled the right way. I mean, I had some cardboard boxes holding it <laughs> in place while I just tacked it and it came out freaking awesome. But that's all you get. That's all you get from that one. Um, you want to see the whole thing, you want to hear it, you gotta watch for that video. Again, this is my 2JZ swapped 300ZX with a lot of modifications to the exterior. So there's your little hint. Believe me if I said that that was a brown interior factory. Disgusting. I'm sorry for those C32 owners with brown interiors. Come on, just admit it. There's a little part of you that just hates it. it I don't know. Maybe not. And maybe I'm just being a jerk. And I don't know. I I, I, I don't like it. I don't like the brown. Ugh. So this is going to be actually a shorter video than I intended it to be. Maybe. I don't know. I always get to editing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just made another 15 minute video. And I thought it was only going to be like eight minutes. But. Uh, let's let's go ahead and walk around the Red Z. I do want to introduce you uh, formally to the Red Z. I haven't named her yet. Maybe it's gonna be Red Z because that's how I always address her. Let's go walk around. I'll give you an in-depth tour and then we'll just end the video there. So this is my 1995 Nissan 300ZX. This was my first car in high school. Um, unfortunately, it's a lot more beat up than when I had it. Uh, clear coats, peeling, stuff like that. So unfortunately, it's had some abuse through the previous owners. The way I knew it was my car is like this exhaust. No one knows what this exhaust is and I don't even know what it is. I just bought it off a friend. So I noticed the exhaust tips 
And then when we had the wing painted, uh, my grandpa actually painted the wing and he put my initials under it. So that was really cool to see. Yeah, they tried like rattle canning this black. They hit something on the fender, so it's bent. All right, so interior is super dirty. Door card, I don't know what they did to that. I have a screen in here that way. Um, the dash doesn't start peeling and fading because it is hot in here. The clips are broke on this. Interior ain't terrible. Uh, terribly cracked the whole steering column. It looks like I stole the thing when I bought it. Got pulled over. So yeah, that was a bit sketchy. And do a full restore on it. Make sure that she's good and healthy. Also, that's not the original engine that's in it either. Um, when I bought it, it was, it was unhealthy. It had like 250,000 miles on it. Uh, when it was sold and so when I bought it it just felt sluggish you can just tell you you can tell we had a bad winter storm felt a little bit of vibration and I thought it was just like the wheels or something on the road then vibration turned into a tick the tick turned into a knock the knock turned into a boom and I'll try to find the videos and I'll post them here they're snapchat so they're low quality The guy that I sold my VG30 DE TT, the twin turbo engine to, he had an NA. So I bought it off him, swapped the NA into the Red Z, got it running again, and I was super stoked. The tires are cracked. The wheel actually is welded. Uh, I think they welded a hole shut or something, but there's like beads all around the wheel. Keep an eye out for that video of the 2JZ300ZX. That one's gonna happen real soon, recording tomorrow. Hopefully Trace can give me that video soon. Uh, get you guys happy again, cause I know I've been slacking. I've been slacking real bad. So we'll get that handled, um, upload it, and I'll try to blow it up, try to get as many shares as possible, likes, stuff like that. So hopefully that video helps out this channel, shows you what I'm about and what I like to do. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, stuff like that. I don't even have to ask for them. You guys are just so awesome. So with that being said, take it easy, guys. And we'll see you soon.